Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this morning. 15 minutes to change your life. Um, learning from um, the Tanakh Tarek Sefer, the myths of Avish Yisrael. It's, it's in a Yisrael, the myths of Avish Yisrael. So essentially, what we're discussing is is the concept is understanding Avish Yisrael. I'm bringing down from I wrote down the mitzvahs and we understand from the Sefer Chinuch. And we just we discuss it essentially that we're all like Adam coming from Adam Arisha, and so all connected, essentially connected, coming from one place. And and then we said specifically it comes in this level of Shema, which we we talked about how there's different ways of 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 uh, calculating God's name. And Mark expresses that you have the milieu that you have all these different, you know, and all these different parts that come together. And it's specifically in the world of Tikkun. And like we said yesterday, talking the world of Tikkun, that it's uh, Tikkun is what is it brings joins things together, that they can get along. And this is sort of this concept of Avish Yisrael. Just a quick story before we start. There was a, a Hasid, can't remember where he lived, it was just before the war. And I think he could have been running away from, from the war or something. And he came to a town. And it was freezing. He was exhausted. He was finished. And he finally comes to, and this guy was known as a big ball uh, of his so He comes to this house. He sees him. <laughs> and, and he knocks. And he's like, please help me. And that guy is very worried. He doesn't know who this person is. And he's like, no, no, no I'm not letting him in. And he's like, oh, I need help. And no one's, no one's letting him in. So he ends off. He sits down on the, on the, on the you know, by the doors. And he's done. And he's like, I'm done. And it's like, this is where I'm going to die. I have no more energy. I, I can't do anything. It's freezing. And he's exhausted. And he's given up. And as he's about to totally give up and finish, he goes to himself, one second. Tomorrow morning, this guy is going to wake up to go to shul. And he's going to see me on the floor dead. And he's going to feel so bad. How can I do that to him? So he mustered up a little more energy and he got up and he managed to survive. And he said, my average child saved my life. So this is, this is, the, this is the concept that obviously we're talking about. Okay. So let's continue. Page 18 in this safe room and wherever else you are. So he said, yeah, machine came. We tell you, I'm like, I can tell you. How you begin as period. In the, in the world of tell you, everything is separated. One below the other. In Tikkun, it says they're arranged three columns, and it means that they can come together to integrate. It's a very important uh, um, attribute they should have. By Iskalos, Azois, and this integration from Tikkun, Hu Ayideh, Hamshacha, Shema, Shem Mitzcha, like the mat from the forehead of the sublime, uh, sublime man. Um, we're talking about, because we yesterday we were talking about Adam, that we all come from Adam, Rishon, and the is all part of. He's called the Shaman, and he's the Dhamma El Yain from this higher level source. We're saying in this and in all these levels, we're showing that they all come in this level of unity. Shubhanas in safe, which is coming from the level of in safe, coming down into Ma, into Atilas. Hakail Kalish Tashas, which included in this in safe is, is the whole city stash, everything. And all the details of everything that comes out of it, meaning all of us and everything in the world. Is all these details are included within this. Like it says, that from you is everything. You know, all comes, everything that comes out is coming from that place. So even though what we see here is separateness and, and different parts and different levels and different worlds and different people and different things, in our source, we're all one. Even when everything comes out, we become separate entities, and separate things. Together with that, we still are all connected. It's like uh, it's like family, family, you know, with, with with siblings, or you know, let's say you have siblings, but they're all connected. You don't, you you feel an intrinsic connection to your family. And that's what he's saying. You, you, and that's how we should recognize that essentially everything's like that, and even more so the Jewish people. <clears throat> yeah. And the Mayim is explaining here that it's specifically from this 
the mention of the milui of ma that causes us. And this is what it says in the Zaya. Ma is the path to a, a path of a tilus. And if you check in Be'er, Maimar, Zaya, see in the, in the Maimar explaining the Zaya, Pash Yisrael, Kol Yomir, Nishvarachin Be'er, he talks about it over there, all the days are blessed. Valderach Zaya, so that's all in the Kabbalah, Kabbalistic terminology, what we explained. Now we're going to explain it. Now we're going to explain it as it is in, in terms of us. This is all understood by the Nishamas of the Yidin. That we're all one, one pillar, one complete whole. The Hainu meaning Nishamas Adam Risha and he follows them. Then Nisham Adam Risha is encompassing all of us. Even though Adam Risha, like any, all of us, we all have different parts. So how are we saying we're all really one? All right, hey, kululim zemizem. Really, we're all part. We're all connected. We're all encompass one from the other. Like for example, a goof, echad, like one body. Shehagam shehu behis chalkus tiu evari and reish raglaim in the yidaim to pranaim. Even though in your body, the person, we have our fingernails, we have we have our hair, we have our arms, we have our legs. All these different things. Nevertheless. Yeah. Nevertheless, they all come one from the other, all connected. How are we connected? In the hand, there's, some, there's life force that's similar to the foot. I did rhythm through the veins that connects, that it comes from the heart and it pushes blood around everywhere, the whole body. So to all other limbs, all connected. And even though they're separate things, but all really connected together. Like it's known, it's like you heal one part, one limb from 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 putting an injection in a different part of the limb. Because of the blood mixing, or you know, you put uh, you, you get a, a blood transfusion in, in in your arm, and it affects the whole body. So even though the separate parts, they're all connected. In this interrelation, so this interrelation of the body's organs and the soul's life force contained within them comes as a result of the general life force included within them all. So why does this happen? Why is it even though we're separate, we're all connected? Because there's a chayus, there's a life force that's giving life to everything. And this is what we have to realize within ourselves. That even though the separate people there's different yid and different types of yid, and you know, and 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 you are separate to the other per, the other person. But together with that, you have the the chayos klali, the general life that gives life to everything. So even though you, in one hand we're set, we have a level of separateness, but we have to recognize that that ultimately we have this unity within us. Which shines in the head and in the mind, and from there it spreads out to everything. So we're all really, it becomes connected. And this is like, for example, the Hiuli, which is like, it's like, you know, in, in science, the Hiuli says over here is, is like uh, referring to a matter that exists in a pre prime, primeval uniform state. It's like, like sort of atoms, that everything in its source is like made up of atoms. So what he's saying is that ultimately you go to the, you go to the depth, it's all one thing. Meaning, so to speak, it's all a lakus. That you go to the depth of us. That even though you see uh, you see yourself and someone else is separate, but if you recognize that really, if you go a little higher, a little deeper, you recognize all one. Just like family. When you look at your family, there's a, there's an aspect of your family that you're separate. That that one person is different than the other. You know, your brother and your sister, yeah. and they're all all different. But but really. You go a little deeper, they're all connected. You know, all come from the same parents. We all have this connection. That's what we're saying here. That even though the Jewish people as a whole is, is differences, is, so to speak, the toenails and the head and the feet, and we're all, that's representing different types of reason. But together with that, just like in the family, you go a little deeper, we all come from the same source, and we're all coming from the same place. 
we see it clearly by the fact that we can help one and the other. Like the example you use, you know, you give an injection in one part of the body and helps the other part of the body, but you could use also to explain that when there's a problem with one part of the body, with one yid, that's also a problem with us. And you can't come and say, and this is sort of, you could say, this is sort of the idea of, of one of the ideas of, of thinking about Mifzayim. Mechal, the Rebbe's, you know, desire to help Jewish people. You could say, it's not that it's like this Kiddush, which it is, but you could say it in a very simple sense. What we're saying here is because we're all connected. And therefore, if there's a Yid in, uh, in Afghanistan that's uh, having a problem with keeping time mitzvahs, it's a problem for the Rebbe. Because the Rebbe feels it. That's like the Arizal we said. My Arizal would say Tikkun, would, would, would say video even if anything wrong. So why did you video it? Because there's a year that it's something wrong and we're connected and he feels it. And so to hear with the Rebbe, you give the example of the Rebbe, example of all of us, that ultimately when we see a year that, that, there's, that then they're lacking in something, we have to recognize that that lacking in something, not just lacking in them, it's lacking in us. We're not complete within ourselves. And besides the fact we probably know for ourselves that we're not complete within our own Avoida. But we have to recognize that I have to do my Avoida not just for myself, but for everyone. Yeah, and that ultimately everything is the deepest source, it's all the same. And therefore, Hamoyach, the mind, who Hamagish called Keve, Aramach Evarim. And therefore, the mind, like the example we talk about the Rebbe, which is like more like the mind, they feel all what's going on. Okay, and by the mind, the, the pain of the hand or the foot are equal. Yeah, and that, so what he says here in the note is that some like is emphasizing the fact that by the brain, it's not relating to each limb because of one's qualitative superiority over the others, but because the life energy of that limb and of all the limbs stem from that soul. So, but essentially what we're saying is it's connected. And therefore you feel everything. You say, so to the rabbi was on this level that he was like the brain, that he feels everything, you know, and, and think about it within yourself. In your mind, you feel the pain. Sometimes when you stub your toe, it hurts a lot more than when you stub your hand. And that's a sensitivity. And this is sort of ultimately sensitivity we want to have. We see another year, in, and we look at them. We don't judge them. We don't, you know, think about them in any negative way. I have to realize this is part of me. That year, when you look at another person, even if they're doing something wrong, it's look as part of you. And just like within yourself, first of all, and this we're going to discuss later, you judge yourself very differently. And so so too, you should judge, judge them. And also, you should try to help them if you see there's a problem. But, but why? Not because they're bad people, because they're part of them. And if there's something wrong with them, there's something wrong with me. Like he says, it's very, something to see very clearly. Sometimes it hurts a lot more when you hurt your, your, your toenail than when you hurt your hand. So too, with Adam, Adam Rishon, include within the dimension of all parts of the soul. Coming as a result of the source of his soul's vitality. He's coming from Chachmi Ilah of Adam Elyon, which is a high level in the Likus, coming from Adam Elyon, and therefore it's encompassed within it everything. That unites with Hashem's Chachma. So you go up to a level where everything becomes united. Like it says, he and his wisdom are one. So on Adam Rishon and that level of Adam Rishon is, is, is a oneness that's coming. And from there, it's expressing itself. So, so to speak, when we tap into that source, we would be able to feel this interconnection, even though we're not over there necessarily and we don't feel that. We have to know that that's how it is. Yeah, we'll stop here and we'll continue tomorrow. So again, uh, uh, a good lesson to think about when you see someone, instead of running to judge, when we look at them, or, or, or really the, the Aveda is, when we, when we look at someone, we have to see within ourselves, what do we, how we react to that person. See someone doing something wrong or someone doing something good, whatever it is, or with ourselves, how do we, how do we look at them and how to react to them? When we see something, someone doing something you don't like, do you look at them negatively? Or you, you're like, oh, and 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 then the second level of of the thought process is 
if I was, when I do something, do I do anything like this? And how do I react to myself when I do it? Because ultimately, of course, when it comes to ourselves, we're very uh, understanding and we justify all, um, all what we do. But are we, do, are we doing that to the same extent as someone else? That's really the question. And ultimately, really, it's an important lesson to recognize that we don't know what's going on in anyone else's lives. And even though you might see something going wrong or they're doing something wrong, don't be so quick to judge. You don't know the backstory. Yeah. Everyone should have an amazing day. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining.